Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to be talking about the 10 essential ukulele accessories. So what this video will hopefully help you guys with is your decision making process for picking accessories. So the issue with today is that we have too many options. There are so many different brands making the same products that it gets hard to know which one is good and which one doesn't really make the cut. So all of these accessories that I'm gonna to highlight today are products that I've been using for years. And as we go through each of them, I'm gonna tell you guys why I like them and why I think they may be good for you. So let's go ahead and kick into it with number one. And the first item on my list of the 10 essential ukulele accessories are strings. So hands down, my absolute favorite strings are Aquila. So the reason that I love Aquila strings so much is because they do one thing better than every other brand that I've tried. They have longevity. So I play uke hours every single day and I need a pack of strings that are going to provide tone that lasts for a long time. So the problem with playing a lot is that strings seem to wear out and get dull sounding pretty quick. But for whatever reason, with Aquila, I don't experience that. And I don't even buy the expensive variations of Aquila, the ones that have the like special coating that are supposed to last even longer. I buy just the cheapest one, the basic one, which are called New Nile Gut. Um, sorry if I mispronounced that as well. But they come in about seven bucks a pack, and I can honestly get four to six months of playability out of one set of strings, which is insane you know it's just incredible um, i love the way that they feel i love the way they sound and obviously we, i've said it a hundred times already i love how long they last so my recommendation for you guys is to check out aquila strings so let's go ahead and move on to number two now and the second thing that i'm going to recommend to you guys is going to be the planet wave string winder and cutter so this little tool right here is awesome. So what I love about it is it does three things. As we mentioned, it's got a little string cutter. So right there, it's got a winder. So the issue with changing strings on a uke is that it takes forever because these strings have to be wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped like a million times. Maybe not a million, but you know, it feels like that. So the issue with that is that it wears your hand out. If you have to literally sit there and spin and spin and spin for four strings, it's just going to be way too much work. So it's got a little tool right here that plugs in there, and then you can just twist it around, um, and it does work for you. So fantastic. And then the third thing about it that I love is it has a bridge pin puller. So if you have a high-end ukulele, most of the time they'll come with uh, little pegs at the end in the bridge, and you use this little popper when you're changing strings to extract them. So it's got three tools in one handheld device. So I absolutely love this thing. So that would be my recommendation for you guys. And it's, like I said, it's a handheld size, so it fits in your gig bag nice and easily. All right, so number three on our list is going to be a tuner. And my favorite are the Snark tuners. So this is what the Snark tuner looks like. Um, about six or seven years ago, basically when I uh, went into music college, there was a big change in tuners. We used to have the big bricks that were like that. And you used to play the balancing game by putting it on your uh, knee and you had to plug into them because the mic really was awful and it never really picked up your tuning accurately. That's why I was so happy to see that these products came to life. So clip-on tuners are awesome. They just go onto the headstock like that and there you go. So Snark's like on version two or three or five or six. I, I don't know. They're on some high number version. Actually, I think it is six. And every time they come out with a new variation, they keep making improvements. Um, the last improvement that I noticed that was a good improvement is that they changed the rubber casing right here. It used to be horrible. It used to fall off and stuff. But the latest ones that they've been coming out with for like the last year or two are just super nice. Um, they don't scratch up the headstock of the uke and they fit in. They fit on there perfectly. 
And the other thing I like about Snark is that it works by vibration. So if there's background noise, if you're like in a jam situation or you've got the radio in the background or somebody's talking, blah, 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 it still will tune because it's working by, by vibration. It is not working by a mic. So you can tune in noisy atmospheres, which is awesome. All right, so number four on our list is going to be the capo. And the one that I use is actually a guitar capo. So I'm gonna be completely different than any other ukulele accessory guide that you may have looked at before. I'm recommending a guitar capo to you guys. So here's the one that I use. It's G7, it's the Performance 2. So it's the second generation by uh, G7. And the second generation, they really made it sleeker and smaller. Um, here's why I love this capo. Basically, when you buy a traditional ukulele capo or guitar capo, it's a clamp uh, model, which looks like this picture. And think of it like a clothespin. You know, when you open that clothespin and you let it snap, it has a set amount of pressure that it applies. The problem with those capos is that oftentimes they, they apply too much pressure. So what happens when you apply too much pressure is if you grab your uke and you just kill the string, you push really hard, that string's gonna go sharp. So when you use a regular capo and that clamps on, you put it on there, it's most likely gonna make all of the strings go sharp. So that means that when you put it on, you're gonna have to retune. And then when you take it off, your tuning's messed up again. You're gonna have to retune again. So it's not ideal at all if you're playing like gigs or you're going to jams because it takes forever to tune. So what I love about the G7 is that you can apply the pressure manually. So it avoids you having all those tuning issues. So I'll show you how it works. I'm just gonna stick it on the second fret right in the middle right here. And I'm not gonna push all the way down so you can hear how it's not enough pressure. So I'm just gonna take it and push a little bit more. And there we go, now we've got a nice sounding tone. So if I play a few chords out of it, you can really hear what it sounds like too. And it's got a really nice uh, tone throughout the neck, so the intonation stays perfect as well. So if you're playing up higher anywhere on the neck, it still is gonna sound as it should. Just an awesome capo to use. And the benefit too is that if you do play guitar, then you really only need to buy one capo. This works great for electric guitar and acoustic guitar and ukulele. All right, so for number five, we're gonna be talking about straps. And there's gonna be two different kinds of straps that we're gonna be covering. So the first strap is just your basic um, ukulele strap. This one's actually a guitar strap. So again, if you play guitar, um, honestly, you can save like 10 or 15 bucks and just use the guitar one. You'll just have to add a string to one of those um, to tie around your headstock, but it saves you money if you already have one. But let's go ahead and cover the two types of straps. So what I just showed you is the basic strap. If you have an ukulele that plugs in, it's gonna have um, the little button at the end where you can attach the strap to. So you just take, whoops, <laughs> dropping all my accessories. You take one of these ends right here and you just um, attach it to there. And then with the string, you tie it underneath there uh, for the headstock for the other end. So the basic strap is what I prefer. Now the issue is if you don't have a uke that plugs in, you don't have the button. Um, if you buy the basic strap, they'll include that button, but you'll have to drill a hole into the body of the uke to make it work. So some people don't care um, about drilling into it, but other people obviously don't want to do that. So the second option you guys would have is to buy a strap that doesn't involve any drilling. So it still will attach up here, but then it'll have a little clamp that literally comes underneath here and clamps onto the ukulele's body. I don't like those because I'm a little worried that they're going to scratch up my finish and 
I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. But I can see if you don't want to drill into your uke, um, why the other one becomes appealing. All right, so let's move on to number six. So number six, we're going to be talking about gig bags. So my favorite gig bag is this guy. It's the Reunion Blues brand. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's obviously not a ukulele gig bag, right? Well, it isn't. It's a guitar one. This one I'm recommending because I've used this for my guitar, for my Stratocaster, Telecaster. I've used it for, I don't know, five or six years at least by now. And actually, I did an entire review video and article on it. So if you want to check that out in more detail, just click that link right there. But they make this, this is the Continental series. They make the exact same case for the ukulele. So you can buy this same case for the uke. And what's awesome about the Reunion, Reunion Blues Continental gig bag is that it comes with this shock absorbent material. So what sold me on this case is they literally, Reunion Blues in their promo video, opened up the second story window of a house, threw the guitar out of it, and then went to the ground, opened it up, and it was perfectly fine. Like, it, it does not get damaged at all. It's amazing. So I drop stuff left and right. I drop um, my phone. That's why I bought an OtterBox. I bought the $50 OtterBox, the Defender series. You know, I drop my guitars. I drop everything. I'm just like a Butterfingers. So I need a case that offers a lot of protection, and it's got a huge pocket on it too, which allows you to put all of your accessories or sheet music in there as well. So this one, I think it's like uh, somewhere around 100 bucks or so, which is pricey for a gig bag. But again, if you buy it once, you don't have to buy it again. Um, they also make a cheaper variation. It's called the RBX series. Uh, those are about like 70 bucks and they're great gig bags. They just don't offer as much protection. So right now I'm just using a hard case for my ukulele and it's just your basic little hard case. There, it, there isn't actually a manufacturer. It's like a, a no-name case. Um, the problem that I have with it is that, you know, it has no room to store anything. So all these accessories that I've been telling you guys about, you know, there's just not enough space in here to actually fit it in there. So a gig bag is so much better and what I would recommend. I don't have a need right now to actually buy the Reunion Blues ukulele gig bag. Uh, because most of the gigs that I'm doing are for electric guitar, so my Conalea basically just lives in the hard case, and all my accessories are just kind of laying about, or they, if I do have a gig or I go teach lessons, I can stick them all in the guitar gig bag case. So right now, there's not a big need for me to buy that gig bag, but if you are looking for a gig bag, this is what I would recommend. And I will be picking one up probably the next year or so. All right, so let's go ahead and move on from gig bags. And we're gonna be talking about item number seven, which is going to be our humidifier. All right, so the humidifier that I use is the Oasis OH-18. So this is what it looks like. And basically this humidifier uh, does a couple things that I really like. Um, the first thing is that, as you see in this picture, it sits um, inside of the ukulele's body, which is the best position to put a humidifier um, to get it to be even throughout the body. So you want the humidifying effect to be even throughout the wood of the body. I know some of them um, that they make, you can like stick in your case, but it doesn't have the same effect as actually getting it to be inside of the body. So this humidifier um, is just perfect for that. Plus it lasts a really long time, so you don't have to refill always. So the thing with humidifiers is you really need it if you live in a very dry kind of climate. So if you have humidity that's like 30% or below, that's basically when you need to use a humidifier. So humidifiers really help prevent cracks from happening on the ukulele's body and keeping the wood um, with enough moisture so that you know these cracks and these splints and shrinkage does not happen at all. So humidifiers are essential, especially if you have an, a high-end ukulele. All right, so number eight on our list is going to be a string lubricant made by Finger Ease. So 
this tool is essential. If you're a person that sweats, and I'm saying when you're playing the ukulele and you lift up and you see those dark spots of sweat, that's not very good for your strings. That's gonna deteriorate your strings rapidly. So this little spray right here should be applied every single time you finish playing. So you just shake it and then spray it on there. And then you're gonna take a little polishing cloth, which mine fell on the floor here, and just literally wipe it down. And that's all you're gonna do. And what it does is it will help help the longevity of those strings so it'll help preserve the tone quality of the strings and help those strings last longer so if you're a player that does not sweat at all then honestly just skip this you don't need it but if you do sweat a lot this tool will help make your strings last a lot longer than they would without it all right so moving on to number nine is going to be monster cables so if you have a ukulele that is electric and plugs in, um, as you can see here, I'm using a monster cable. There's all different sizes that you can get. So you just need to figure out, you know, do I need a 10 foot cable? Do I need a 20 foot cable? You know, what is it being used for? Am I playing gigs or am I doing home recording? How long do I need? So the good thing about monster is that they're not on a super high end, like my all time favorite, um, instrument cables are Mogami, but the prices of Mogami are ridiculous. So usually I tend to buy monster cables because I get a great quality at a much better price. And the cool thing about monster is they've always done a like lifetime guarantee. Um, basically, if you buy a cable and something happens, you can uh, exchange it for a replacement. It used to be much easier. It used to be like you could go to the store um, like Guitar Center or whatever and like give it to them and they'll give you another one but uh, about a year or two or so ago you have to start sending it direct to Monster so a little bit of an uh, annoyance now but still you have a lifetime warranty which is awesome and all of the songs that you watch or listen to on rockclass101.com they're all plugged in through this Kanalea and they all use this Monster cable right here alright guys and finally number 10 on our list is going to be guitar picks. Whoa, but this is ukulele, right? Well, sometimes you may want to play the uke like a guitar. So you can check out this video of me playing La Bamba, where I'm playing the solo in La Bamba with this Jazz 3 pick. So what I love about the Jazz 3 picks are the size. They are extremely small, which is super great for ukulele because it's a small instrument so you don't have the typical big size of a guitar pick and they're made out of nylon which gives it a non-tinny sound a lot of plastic picks have a very plasticky tinny kind of tone quality to it but the jazz 3 made out of nylon have a nice warm sound just a very nice even tone so I definitely rec recommend them. They're about like three bucks right now um, on Amazon. So you can get six of these picks and they're just fantastic. And I would also highly recommend picking up a little tin. So it's like a little tin can that basically slides open and you can stick all your picks in there so you don't lose them. So this one says Tom Petty, which is awesome. Uh, I put a link for Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen, but go ahead and you can look online. There's tons more uh, artists that are out there, or you can pay a little bit less and just get a generic tin. But the tins work really well for holding all your picks. All right, so this wouldn't be a list without having a bonus category. So our bonus item is going to be our heroes, which are earplugs. So these earplugs right here are lifesavers. If you are playing gigs all the time, you need to protect your ears. If you're going to concerts all the time, you need to protect your ears. So the Heroes are just fantastic earplugs. So what I love so about the Heroes is that they are washable, so they, you can rinse them out and clean them after every use. Um, and they last a very long time too. So, you know, I buy a new pair every couple of years or so. And they come with this nice little carrying case. But the most important thing about them is 
the sound that they offer. If you buy those cheap like yellow orange ones that squash into your ear, they block out all the highs and the lows and they make hearing the music hard. These ones don't do that. You can hear all the highs and the lows and you can hear everything clearly but still protect your ears. So heroes are what I've been using since I went to music college. Um, everyone was going on and on about heroes because they're affordable and they work very well. So those are my recommendation to you guys. All right, guys, that is everything for our top 10 essential uh, ukulele accessories. So let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. If you agree with um, my list, let me know. If you disagree, if you have something to add, let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Also, if you want to read the complete article of everything nicely laid out on rockclass101.com, you can find that link to that article right here. And also, while you're at the site, go ahead and take a look at all the ukulele lessons we have. We have well over 130 or 40 lessons now, and a new one is added every Friday. So you can learn complete songs on the ukulele, as well as lessons that focus on concepts, like techniques, strumming, and finger picking, music theory, and so much more. So be sure to take a look around the site while you're there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in our next little review. Thanks.